Hello again, Brigadine fans. This is Double Seventy Seven Trigger here, and you're watching the Defensible Truth. So I guess decided to attack me there, and uh, yeah, he uh, he did a few good things for his team, and uh, kind of upset me a little bit. But uh, I decided, you know what? This is my assault team, and uh, I'm going to take them out here and uh, destroy him. I'm just going to run after him kick his butt and that's going to be the end of him and he's going to wish he didn't come up here and attack this team because this is my very aggressive team this isn't my uh sit back and uh defend the castle team this is uh now you're going to actually get to see some um assaulting from a defensive side uh usually i always have them on the offense but um and typically i don't really expect them to get attacked too much but uh you know i guess zemeckis you know feels he has the edge on me that he can uh uh, kill off some of my guys or my leaders and um, he does have, yeah, he, have a, he has a slight edge because he has a white dragon up there um, you know he's got uh, I believe it's Esmeri coming and I think it's uh, Soliel also up there too I didn't look too closely but um, yeah I have uh, Daffy with a heal ring you know I thought well I'll, I'll give that a try you know I've got uh, Bad, Bagdamagus healing up every time so I'm going to give him a heal ring, and I'm going to give Gallo a heal ring. So they're all healing up a little bit. Um, they're the other two leaders that aren't back to Magus, uh, Daffy and um, uh, Gallo, are healing up probably, I don't know, about half of what he heals up at. Um, so, yeah, uh, they've got uh, four dragons over here. You know, they've got an angel. They've got a good crew there, actually. Very good. Uh, but with this... Also, it's kind of difficult. I don't have a lot of water creatures, and defending from this position would have been really good if I had a lot of water creatures uh, to, you know, like Hydras or uh, Lizard Band, uh, things like that. You know, would have helped out a lot for that um, that side. But uh, yeah, this one's kind of difficult because you don't really know where they're going to attack from. If they're attacking from the west side, then uh, water creatures can help a little bit. But mostly you're going to be dealing with the land, you know, so this one's like half and half. Um, but you can definitely use, um, you know, a water and air team for this too. It'll work too. Uh, uh, but, um, yeah, here I decide I'm just going to go and trash the mechas. So I'm going to trash his whole army over here and then kill him off. Uh, because I don't want him attacking me anymore here. Uh, my next attack was going to be on um, Tora. So I would have locked that up with... Um, Drist Force, but uh, he attacked me first. I was just getting Drist position to attack them. Um, I do have a Magic Defense crew there, um, my best uh, Dragon Magic Defense team there, but I'm not going to have them attack per se. I'm just going to have them defend uh, because I could have them attack, but then it gets I don't know. I might have to go to turn five or so just to get in position. And uh, I just really prefer to keep Magic crews on defense because. I definitely will get attacked different times, but I know that I can uh, pretty much hold it off and just destroy anything that comes my way with that because I know how to defend with that kind of a team. Um, so back is here, I don't know what the heck he's doing. He's, he's going so slow. He's just playing very defensive. Usually, you know, I was just kind of expecting him to come out, you know, come right out and start attacking one of my leaders right away and uh, maybe have his dragon, you know, be a little bit closer. Uh, but yeah, here I thought, uh, you know, this is actually very good because Wings is going to do just as much damage on that White Dragon. Pretty much about the same level, but because the uh, uh, Cawtill does better damage to flying creatures than the White Dragon or the Red Dragon, I have an advantage on it. So, uh, you know what, this is just fine. Here I was worried about getting stoned because uh, usually in a lot of battles, a lot of past battles, just one rock on the enemy team will stone you a lot but um, also I remember usually with um, with the Empire they don't really stone as much when they have rocks usually it's just Leoness and Drist that stone a ton when they have you know rocks and you're playing against them uh, the Queen will stone you quite a lot and uh, yeah that merman didn't do much but um, you know, I was just really upset with them at this time I'm just you know going out it's gonna be very aggressive 
attack them, give them everything uh, that I have here. I've got quite a good team here. I can uh, knock out a few of their top monsters right now, probably this set of uh, turns when he just came. So I'm just setting up, you know, seeing what I can do and figure, you know what, this rock's level 7. I don't want to be fighting against another rock like this at some point. I like to, you know, keep them low on the enemy team. Uh, you know, I'm thinking, oh, great. I put back the Magus with uh, the Flame Axe, so he's not going to do that much damage to the Magus. So I don't think it's going to benefit me to attack him with Bagdamagus too much. But uh, I'm just trying to think here. Well, I want to get to Zemeckis and just start fighting him right away. But he's got all these guys right in front of me. Should I run around him and just do that? Uh, I've done that in the past. It's not the wisest choice. You want to kill up at least a few of his top monsters and then start like slowly getting up to him. Well, not any leader, but you know Zemeckis definitely. That you kind of are forced to, especially if he throws a bunch of guys in the way. Um, yeah, I couldn't get him down there fast enough. But I'm just trying to position these unicorns and. You know, the best spots where I can just start healing up and uh, doing a lot of damage on them. I'm thinking, okay, you're going to lose that. You're definitely going to lose your white dragon here. I'm just trying to figure out how to get him in the best place without getting too much damage done to him. Uh, so I figured, well, you know, maybe this is best here. I mean, I could have went up too. But I thought, you know what, I'll just, I'll just stick him right there. That'll be fine. So Jin Dude gets to do his water attack on the red and white dragon here pretty much just a white dragon but you know he has a red dot to him too so um, <laughs> I figured they're probably gonna get a little confused because um, why am I running away from them on this side you know why am I not still sitting at the castle well I'm going to go and just destroy Zemeckis I'm going to completely destroy everything he has and I'm going to enjoy it <laughs> And so now I'm just thinking, okay, well, I need to get around this guy, but I need my dragon to come and attack too. Maybe I'll just move here, and then maybe my dragon get close enough to get uh, get a little bite on him. I'm still worried I'm going to get stoned. I still keep thinking, oh, crap, they're going to stone Gallo. They're going to stone my leaders. And, uh, of course, Gallo has very high agility, which means he has very high evasion. So probably not going to hurt me too much. Now, I know I'm throwing him out here a little bit further, um, but I figure, you know, I really need to get the kill on him, and if I'm going to lose something, I prefer to lose wings over my Jin Dude or Shitty Boy that I have on my team. So, I'd rather have use him to the fullest because when it comes down to it, the Jin Dudes are just very critical. And here's something that you'd probably be surprised about like, oh, how did the White Dragon miss him you know, how is that possible well if you look at his agility quick it's 55 and you look at my agility is 82 I've got 32 points higher of agility so there's a lot of chance of him missing me um, so you can add up the agility points and typically it's almost always true that if you have any agility points higher than the enemy when you're attacking him you will always hit if you're <laughs> about equal and you're not three points higher you can miss it's very slim but usually the higher you are the better chance you have of hitting and you know getting that hit to go and if they're under if their agility is under yours by three points you know they may miss you and the same goes vice versa so yeah I knew I'd get, you know, damaged a lot, but I figured, well, he's double blue. He'll probably do a lot of damage. Usually they do, uh, lizard guards do criticals. Um, you know, that's one of their best skills is doing criticals. He's on the water too, so, you know, puts his hit percent up, but he doesn't need it because, you know, it's, um, uh, not going to, um, affect much because that dragon's got 55 agility. So, you know, lizard guards got way more. I'm just trying to think, um, what should I do here? This is kind of tough. I mean, I, I kind of want to get uh, get in here so I can get uh, Shitty Boy to get a kill. Because uh, pretty much he's been one of my absolute favorite uh, Jins. Uh, that and Jin Dude. Usually, um, 
the black ones are very good because there's a lot of white creatures out there that you can hit, a lot of healers you can hit with that, uh, white dragons, you know, just to have an example of that. So I figured, well, I'm going to do react, see if I can kill this thing off, then I can probably move forward a little bit and get a better position so I can get um, Shitty Boy to get a kill on the white dragon. Now that will help a ton. I'm going to turn a lot of things in my favor. Okay, so off with the rock. Move on in, get a, get into a good, decent position where I can get in a, get a shitty boy in a blue space. So, um, you know, so I can get him to get that shot on him. Uh, I figure, well, you know, this wyvern's still in the way. I don't need to hit that gin dude, you know. I know I can, but uh, I'm going to throw Daffy in a attack here. He'll be in the forest. He might miss me, because now Daffy's in the forest. He gets plus evasion. But it uh, didn't quite happen that way, but I thought, you know what? It's worth a shot. I'm going to give it a shot. Now he can come in and shoot and get the unicorn and the white dragon. Now, I'm figuring... I'm thinking he's probably going to get him extremely low, or maybe kill him. Kind of hope for one shot kill, but uh, you know, we'll see. I guess my hopes are a little too high. They didn't want me to kill him off, even though he's white, I'm black. Uh, that's just something they just did not want to happen, and I was like, no, you gotta let me get this guy. This is ridiculous. Should have done way more damage than that, and I should have gotten that kill. But I am playing on hard right now, and they will make you attack with very, very weak attacks that will not help you. And uh, that was just one of those things. You just can't stop it. You can't. You can't really do much about it. Once you start playing on hard, they're going to give you the um, anti-criticals, and they're going to give themselves all the criticals. And uh, you'll see here later on, uh, you know, something that Zemeckis does. It just greatly annoys me. Um, actually, a few things, too. You'll see. But um, I think this was Soliel's uh, bad judgment for Bishop up there. The enemy, Bishop, to just keep moving over that way. But I guess he just didn't understand what he, <laughs> what he should be doing. Um, this... I actually, at the moment, I was kind of happy. I was kind of glad. I'm like, okay, good. You can hit those guys. I just don't want you to hit my leaders. You know, all in a row. Uh, but, uh, you know, it, it, then I looked at it and I was like, oh, um, okay. <laughs> I think they're all a little too low now. This is just, this is not going to make my day. Uh, here, this didn't really bother me too much. Because you know it'd have to take, it'd have to still do a lot more damage to knock me out. You know, knock out Daffy. It's like, oh, hey, good, critical. Pour him down to a good, um, good feasible kill next turn. Two shots, knock him out probably. Uh, they didn't do anything with that. Uh, I figured, okay, you no, know, now they're gonna start using their gin dude. Start trying to knock me out. So. Yeah, I just, and I was surprised. I was like, oh wait, no, they, I thought he was going to go for Daffy. He should have went for Daffy. Daffy's a lot lower. What the hell is he doing? And then, just because of this, just, this is irritating. I should have got the kill on the White Dragon. I've got a higher level, um, yeah, level 14. Level 14 Dale. He should have gotten the kill. I mean, he should have done at least 100. I was thinking at least, probably 140. And then they kill off Shitty Boy, and I was just really pissed at the time. <laughs> I just did not want that to happen. I was like, okay, that's it. Now you're dead. I'm going to destroy all your monsters, and you are going to you are going to go back and uh, cry to your mama. That's what's going to happen to you. Um, I figured, you know what? I don't want to risk Jindu right now. I need to heal him up. Um, I got some healers in the background. I got nobody to heal him up at this point probably just going to pull him down and um, you know I could have gotten another attack on the um, on the wyvern I was just thinking of safety so I just thought you know 
I don't know what, what else he can really do. I guess I will just probably pull him back. Um, you know, I could get the attack out of the blue. Just trying to figure out what I can do with Bagdamagus. You know, I'm gonna pull him down here, heal him up, and then next turn I can use him to the fullest extent because I don't want them killing off both of my Jin dudes, especially the main uh, Jin dude here. He needs to stay alive because he can really knock down some mechas. Whereas um, someone might miss, he's really going to hit and do a whole lot of damage. Now, level 19 Bagdamagus should be able to pull off, you know, possibly a critical kill. But then again, the same thing happens. They don't want me to do it. <laughs> 151 is the most you could do. Now this is black on white, and it's doing 185. Just average. I mean, that's ridiculous. That's honestly just totally ridiculous. Like, oh wait, no, I don't want to be there because then I won't be able to hit that boyfriend. So I'm going to just move here, get the shot. I'm just, uh, you know, I could have moved here first. This might have gotten the um, kill, but uh, I just figured, well, black and white, I should be able to do something. But then again, they sort of cheated me out of the numbers. At least that's kind of how it feels. Um, you know, Maybe, maybe not, but it, it really does seem like they cheated me out of the numbers because on hard, they will sometimes throw the numbers in their favor, and uh, it just feels like that was one of those times. Uh, so, yeah, I figured, well, okay, I'll take a little bite out of this waiver and hopefully I can hit it. Uh, you know, because dragons tend to be almost as notorious as giants as missing uh, high agility creatures, uh, but they're. Um, they still have a little better agility than uh, Giant, so you know, I got the hit on that, and now I can uh, start to, um, you know, improve my uh, territory acquisition of um, Zemeckis' side. <laughs> I know they can go for the castle, and they can get on the castle, but, you know, at this point, if I kill up Zemeckis, they all leave, so I'm just going to go and, uh, you know, kill up Zemeckis, but um, because he really sort of pissed me off by killing off Shitty Boy, he's going to have to lose his whole army. I was just gonna, you know, try to cut cut through a few guys just to get to him and start nailing him quickly. But um, you know, with the way this is going, I just gotta I just wanna destroy everything he's got and uh I don't care that much anymore. I just gotta kill everything he has. You know, if I lose another monster, that's probably the case because I can't heal up this lizard guard. And seeing as how Zemeckis is um a uh just a total killer, he just goes for um you know, all the kills he can get. So I'm figuring, you know what, I can't really save Nail too much. I can pull him to the back, but Zemeckis can still run up to the front and maybe shoot him far. Um, it's either, uh, you know, going to get hit almost any side. Uh, so I figured, you know, I'm just going to pull, I'm just going to kill this thing off so I can start moving some guys forward. And, uh, yeah. So if I can get down here, I can possibly heal him up. If I attack something that can attack me back, then uh, I can definitely heal him up and get an attack on something. This is strategically better, uh, you know, versus attacking a unicorn where it could possibly give a, you know, critical back kick on me and, um, you know, push me further away from the heal. So here I'm close enough, I can grab the heal. I'm not going to heal my leaders up right at the moment because he doesn't have what it takes to kill him off in one shot. I know he can do critical bow, but he's probably going to go for just a kill. Um, and, you know, with the Scalios team here, I've just been playing to, you know, just use monsters to the fullest extent. Um, you know, I'm not going to try to save every single monster, just a few of them. There's a few good ones that I definitely want to try to save, uh, no matter what the cost. Um, but, you know, I'm going to play with um, Scalio's mind frame and just <laughs> throw them out there. If they die, they weren't meant to live. If uh, they live, well, you know, that's that's what they're supposed to do. They're supposed to fight for Scalio and uh, destroy everything. But when they die, you know, they uh, they weren't meant to be on this team. That's his mind frame, so that's how I'm going to play for him. Uh, so, yeah, now I pretty much cut a big wide hole uh, right open, right to start attacking uh, Zemeckis. And uh, he doesn't have, you know, the, the amount of monsters that it takes to survive. You know, to survive here. I can throw Protect on Daffy, 
him go up and attack. That'd be fine. I could do an ice slash. I could do, you know, a whole lot of stuff. Um, I figured, you know what? I'm probably gonna probably heal him up. I hope that this, uh, I hope that, um, Plantula can get in there and do an attack on him, you know, because he can swim through the forest. <laughs> just <laughs> always fun. Because, <laughs> uh, uh, I just love it that these things can swim through forests. I don't know how else to say it, you know. Uh, frolic through the plants. I don't know how else to really, you know, say that. But uh, yeah, he can uh, shoot three spaces away. He can paralyze now. He's got tons of hit points. He's got better defense. Um, they're actually very good uh, once you can get them up high enough. But uh, it's kind of one of those things. You just got to be sort of lucky with that sometimes. Because uh, unless you, you know, want to just sit there and he, you know, have a bunch of healers heal up that, so it's not worth it. Uh, so I'm just deciding, okay, who really needs it? Um, probably going to have Daffy just do his eye slash from a few spaces away. So I'm probably going to have Wings attack, you know, a full assault on Zemeckis because he has enough agility to almost constantly hit Zemeckis. So if I keep him close, you know, and I just keep him attacking, uh, my Kato will definitely really help kill off Zemeckis. And uh, this is just a bonus, I didn't really need the critical, but oh, oh well. Overkill is nice too. Um, and now if Zemeckis decides to stay right there, I can just eye slash him from that point and uh, not get a counter. So I was kind of ecstatic with that. And look at this. <laughs> so we have decided, okay, they're going east. I'm gonna go east too. <laughs> I'm gonna get stuck in this in this little corner and knock it out. And you'll see here's the 20 hit points extra, which is a little bit beneficial. It's kind of beneficial, I guess not for Zemeckis, but um, yeah, I just figured, you know what? Even if I heal him up a little bit, Zemeckis could possibly do a critical attack like he's doing right now, and uh, probably kill him anyway. And if I came to attack him with Nail. And, uh, you know, he attacked me back, lowered me down, and then he starts off with another attack. He'll just kill him anyway, so... He was probably going to get a kill on something or severely damage one of my leaders, so... Yeah, I'd lose the Lizard Guard. Lost uh, Shitty Boy. You know, feel kind of upset over that. But, uh, yeah. I'll just grab some new monsters. I've got some monsters that are, you know, close to classic up to possibly Red Dragon, and, uh, you know, I've got uh, my Scorpion. It's almost going to be a Death Needle, so I'll level them up and, uh, you know, throw something else in there. You know, maybe another Wyvern or something like that. Um, but here I can get a good, nice attack on him. Right, stay away from him, at least the space. You can throw someone else in front. You maximize the amount of damage you do on him. Uh, so this is where I'm going to put Jim Dude. He's full hit points, so... Even though he's blue, Zemeckis isn't going to just, you know, you know, jump at the, uh, you know, chance to attack him because now he's all by himself and he's he needs to kill off leaders to really do well. I thought, you know what, uh, back to Magus could go and attack him, but he's got the red axe against a double red, and uh, you know, even though the dragon is red too. You know, he's my leader at the moment, and I don't want to lose him from a bunch of criticals. So I'm going to put him there, stockpile guys around him, and if I can keep him there, then uh, I can do Acid Breath next time without getting hit. So in this way, it's strategically a little better so that, you know, I can get this Acid Breath going on him. Um, I couldn't get the uh, Centaur through the forest you know, well enough, so I thought, yeah, I'll just shoot this uh, for a minute, lower him down a little bit, since he wants to fight him anyway, you know, this way I get a free attack on him, uh, you know, couldn't really get him, you know, too close, but I was thinking, you know, maybe I'll just get him as close as I can, maybe if uh, Smekas tries to escape, I got another guy there, would definitely help out, but I figured, well, I can put him there, and next turn I'll be able to just jump into the water and attack him on the land. And uh, that'll be fine. And I'm thinking, you know what? <laughs> if you guys are going to be idiots, go right ahead. <laughs> Just stockpile on the castle. It doesn't matter because after this, you're going to be done. You're going to be totally, totally done. And uh, yeah, my dragon just couldn't get in there. That little bit of forest was just clogging up everything. Um, so here, 
I think I was like, yep, yeah, you know, Daffy really needs it. Nobody else can get it. I'm just going to throw it on him. Um, now he's too far away. I need to move Daffy in and get an attack. Uh, but a Gallo needs to come as far as he can, so I can save that space open for possibly Daffy to get the attack on. And uh, now you're going to see here something that uh, I was trying to point out to you earlier. And uh, you get on a certain spot, and you can get criticals all day long. And yeah, now he's getting criticals. He just did a critical the last shot. He's doing critical this shot. Now this is the second critical in a row in the same exact place. Let me move up here. You know, because I can uh, maximize the damage with my land creatures. And he's an air creature, so he can go up to the water easily. It's easier to attack from the, from the north down to him. Now he's surrounded. He can't really move very far. So have him attack here, get crap for damage, and uh, yeah, there's his third critical in a row. It's gonna severely cripple my army while I'm trying to kill him, you know, they, they're, I'm playing this on hard, they're thinking, you know, I gotta win, no matter what the cost, so <laughs> I'm gonna definitely get a critical on you every time, and sometimes you, you just think that's exactly what they're thinking, sometimes you think, you know, I'm playing this on hard, they're making this crazy difficult. Even though this is hard, I mean, they're, they're cheating here. They're, they're giving Zemeckis, like, three criticals in a row. And, uh, you know, this can happen, um, you know, not just um, not just on hard, but, you know, with Zemeckis, it does happen at times. I was thinking for a second, maybe I'll throw out the, the, uh, the fairy. Hopefully I can mesmerize them. <laughs> but I thought, you know what, I'll just, I'll just lose that fairy. That would be not a very smart move. Um... You see there, okay, so Zemeckis got three criticals in a row, already, in a row. I'm thinking, okay, I hope he can't get four criticals in a row. Uh, that would just totally suck if he could get four in a row. So, okay, I just have to attack him and, you know, hope for the best. Now there I get a good hit on him. But, yeah, four, four criticals in a row. Does that mean? Yeah, that's... Does a lot of damage. Um, Daffy seems to have decent defense, so you know it wasn't too, you know, didn't bother me too much. Now he's screwed because he has to try to <laughs> go in the water to get here, because he didn't think, oh, I can go down through this um this little walkway here. No, I'm gonna try to cross the water. I'm gonna try to cross the um, strait of um, <laughs> you know this huge uh, this huge lake here. Uh, at this point, I was like, you know what, level 1 merman, who, who cares? You can keep it on your team. It's not doing anything for you anyway. Uh, basically, most of my uh, uh, gameplays, I mean, if, um, if I'm trying to kill off a leader like Zemeckis at the end here, this merman is really not an issue. I mean, he's not going to do any real damage to me at all. Um, I was thinking, you know what, this is really good. I'm glad you're going in the water because now you're going to have minus evasion. So that's going to help out my weaker creatures be able, my weaker agility creatures be able to hit you easily. And uh, because he moved off that space, no more extra criticals, as you can see. So, you know, the criticals he's getting. Uh, I'm thinking here, you know, I could do this, but, um, you know, this will definitely lower him down a lot. And, you know, blue on red. I'm gonna see this is gonna help me a lot. Uh, yeah. So now he's getting low enough, possibly for um, total kill here. I think, should I should I hit him with this, or should I lower him down a bit? I don't know if I don't I don't know if Bagdamax can kill him because he's got the red axe, so he's got red element. Yes, he has black element, but you know with the way that um, they're having me fight him. Maybe, you know, I'll just I'll just make sure because I know that this centaur won't do more than you know 40, 50 hit points. You know because he's attacking Zemeckis, he's just an amazing high leader, and and uh, I know I don't have to heal up anybody anymore, but I'm just gaining experience from the unicorns because every chance I get to level them up, the better. Um, so if I ever get the chance to put them into Pegasus, then that's what I want to do. Now, I've got minus hit percent and evasion, but so does Zemeckis. But here's my critical on him. <laughs> because Bagdamagus 
was pissed. Kill off Shitty Boy, he killed off Nail. And this is what he gets. Destroy pretty much his whole crew except for a crappy merman. And uh, yeah, we'll go back to Magus up to an adventure. So, yeah, that was that. Um, yeah, he'll be thinking twice for attacking me at Altrude again with this team. So, yeah, here you go. Um, this is a uh, double 77 trigger. I hope you liked it. Um, and I will catch you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye.